Oh, there we all doing? Baz here and Danny. We're at Danny's place today. Have a little bit of a look at his quick little bar setup he's got. Yeah. There might be a little bit of noise in the background. No. Um, watch a bit of road work behind us. I will point out one quick thing before we start. Ooh, one of Danny's little creations. How's this, eh? Mm -hmm. I don't know what you want. You want yeah, a little help. Look at that. Uh, a little creation with young Danny makes. All right. Things we do when we're bored. That's exactly right. That's fun. Anyway. Well, we're going to talk whiskey. What have we got, sir? Well, today we've got a Cotswold single malt whiskey. So, this is an English whiskey. Um, yeah. Um, distillery started in around 2014 making the usual other spirits of gins and so forth uh, while they waited for this to mature. So 2017 they launched their whiskey. Um, it's 46%. So, you oh, know, yeah. it's, it's, in, it's in a good range. Yes, um, my range, your range, it's all right. It's a nice, clean whiskey. It's got some flavours, good flavours to it, some complexity. Mm, it's been around for a few years, so... Um, I really, really like this one. Uh, it's, you know, finished as all the other whiskies are really. Not much more, I mean, it's because it's English, it's a little bit different, um, but it's certainly uh, one of the better ones I think I've had out of that How area. many just, here, I'm gonna put you on the spot here for yeah. a second. <laughs> uh, roughly, how many <clears throat> distilleries are in England? Whiskies. Uh, I wouldn't. There'd be quite a few. There'd be a few, yeah. Okay. Um, I think I know of about four, maybe five that I know of, okay. um, there's bound to be more, bound to be way more than that. Um, so, but there's definitely three that are producing really good whiskey. Um, and we'll come on to those later if we can find some bottles here. Um, so- They're hard to get here. They're hard to get here, that's the trouble. Um, but, you know, we'll do our best, we'll try and find one. Um, be an English myself, I'd love to be trying to get hold of some and uh, bring them over maybe and uh, try them out myself. So this one I think is uh, a really good one for, for an English one. It's um, got complexity to it, it's I think. Cool. Really, really. Yeah, and, it's quite uh, good. I will say nice. one thing, only because it's winter at the moment. Mm. This is a nice whiskey, but more when, it, when it's sort of room temperature, oh, yeah. it's, slight, it's different again to when different it's cold. Again, yeah. So it's probably a little bit on the chilly side for me as far as yeah. I like mine, which I know sounds strange for a lot of people to drink whiskey with ice, but just your choice, you're fine. But to me, yeah, if it was a bit of room temperature, yeah, it, just, it does. It just stretch out. Yes. Yeah, just stretch it out a bit more. So makes it a makes it quite nice. Yeah, but but I'm saying that it's still quite a nice whiskey. Available in Australia or not? This one? Uh, I it's believe it is. Uh, maybe online. Online. So, but you have a look around. You may find a bottle in your bottle shop. Um, if not, certainly search online and find it. Um, I think this is a really nice, easy drinker. Um, so it's starting to warm up now in my hands. Yeah. Which I know yeah. sounds really, really weird, but it does change. That's the and that's what whiskey's all about, how you that's like it. to drink it. That's it. I mean, if you add water to it, it changes the flavour. If you warm it up, it changes it. So, yeah, try and get yourself some if you want to. If not, go with us. We're on all the other socials as well. If you want to follow along those and uh, see what else is going on with us, jump on them. Like, follow, share, tick, whatever it is you want to do. And that's it. So, we'll see you next time. Say goodbye, Bess. Goodbye, Bess.